Israeli's defense minister has revealed that one month ago, Russia had fired its advanced S-300 missiles at Israeli jets over Syria. Incident one off, but does it mean a shift in Russia's policy? This when Moscow ordered the Jewish agency to stop its operations in Russia. Russia has begun legal action to expel the Jewish agency from its borders. And Israel is concerned. For years, Jews could not leave the former Soviet Union. They were sacked from their jobs and even sent to prison if they tried to leave. Russia claims that the Jewish agency has been preaching local data laws. Israel offered to mediate, but Russia declined. Some in the Israeli government seem to believe that Prime Minister Yair Lapid's sense on the Ukraine war has provoked Russia's desire to expel the agency. While Israel has not joined international sanctions against Russia, Lipid has accused Russia of war crimes and Israel voted to suspend Russia from the UN Human Rights the Council. The images and testimony from Ukraine are horrific. Russian forces committed war crimes. Lipid warned Moscow that expelling the agency would have grave impact on relations between the two countries, including potentially recalling the Israeli ambassador to Moscow. Israel then announced it would expand its assistance to Ukrainian civil service organizations, although the foreign ministry said the move wasn't connected to the tensions. The Kremlin contended that the Jewish agency dispute is purely a legal matter. The situation must be treated very carefully. Indeed, there are questions for Sonnet regarding compliance with Russian legislation, and there is no need to politicize the situation or project it onto the entire range of Russian Israeli relations. However, its foreign ministry accused Israel of biased behavior towards Russia. Israeli President Herzog is now involved and has suggested that quiet diplomacy is the best approach. I believe that the less we speak about it, the better we will be. It will allow proper treatment of the issue. Spokespeople appeared in Russia. President Putin said that there is no crisis with Lipitz's office confirming that the two leaders had exchanged greetings after Lipid became Prime Minister. How the Jewish agency's legal hearing on Thursday goes may decide the next move in Moscow and Jerusalem.